Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth video. We're going to just see this update number four. Uh, for today, we're going to be looking at the ECM WF Extended 42-day uh, model for the UK and uh, for uh, Ireland on uh, this one. And uh, we'd normally be releasing this, of course, on a Saturday, but uh, we're releasing it on this Friday evening because tomorrow we've got the second Winter 2000. 23 24 C's model roundup coming up, but we're going to get something like 16 lines. Once again, from World Leading Forecast Center, to see what they're all showing for winter 2023 24 for only the second time this season. So, uh, because of that, we pushed the EC 42 day into uh, Friday. So, I shall get on with it for you in a moment. Just to say that first, a video say was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast will be January Friday, we'll release the 10th to 14th day as well. Be like a conveyor belt, gas be like a Convey about, bang, 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 turn him, <laughs> turn him about today. And uh, if all that wasn't, I'm going to be live streaming actually, by the way, at, uh, at 10. So <laughs> if you're around the channel, I'll probably be on an eye alone by then, but if you're around the channel, please can you uh, check in and uh, we'll have a Friday night live stream that'll be coming up at 10 p.m. Uh, thank you so much, uh, everybody. Please like, share, subscribe on all videos, all that good stuff. And thank you so much to ecmw.int for supplying the charts as well. Okay, <laughs> let's have a look at uh, the week one mean sale pressure. By the way, this is going to get to the 11th of December. Wow, wow, wow. But we're going to start off with uh, week one mean sea level pressure anomaly from the 30th of October. There was 6th of November, so next week basically looking very, very unsettled with deep low pressure from the Atlantic into West Europe. There is a bit of a blocking signal away to the north towards Greenland and Iceland as well. The 500 millibar height is looking really unsettled next week as well with a large area the below average heights from the Atlantic into northern and also Western Europe. So that looking really unsettled. Temperature anomalies uh, look like this uh, next week. So a cooler than average week to come, or a average week to come for Ireland and Scotland. Near normal for England and Wales. No, much of Northern Europe as well. Scandinavia, anyway, looking pretty cold next week. The rest of Europe looking quite mild, though, especially in the east. And a very wet week to come next week across Western Europe, Ireland and the UK is included in that. It is dry up towards Iceland. That's where all the blocking is sitting up here. But like through Ireland, the UK, to France, etc., 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 looking very unsettled and wet. Okay, week two will be the 6th to the 13th of November. So, large area of low pressure, below average pressure. Uh, again, from it, I see into much of northern and west Europe. It is combined, again, with blocking um, away to the north. How's the 500 millibar heights looking for week two? From the 6th to the 13th of November. They're looking very unsettled as well, with deep below average heights from the Atlantic into much of western Europe. Again, there. Uh, the temperature anomaly is coming out uh, a little bit below average, really, through much of the UK. <coughs> Excuse me again, everybody. Uh, coming up a little bit below average through much of the UK and I, especially the further north you happen to go. But even in the south, it doesn't exactly look mild, does it? And um, precipitation, again, it's another wet week being indicated there above average rainfall and particularly, again, focus on England and Wales. Um, though we do see uh, what is indicative of a bit of a blocking area of high pressure forcing that jet stream to go uh, further southward. Week three <laughs> will be for 30 to the 20th of November. The mean sea pressure anomaly still looking unsettled there with lots of low pressure in from the Atlantic into Europe. However, 500 millibar heights looking still below average heights coming in from off the Atlantic into West Europe. We do see blocking uh, to the north as well. Perhaps a little bit more towards the Canadian uh, side of America though. Um, but basically still looks very, very unsettled through northwestern Europe anyway. The temperature anomaly, I mean, it's still been on the cold average side across the parts of Scandinavia and just about southwest actually. So it's hardly mild. Again, sort of average, no season could be a little bit 
on the cool side, maybe. Um, week 3 precipitation is coming out. Wet to the north well, as well. It could be a really wet, you know, <laughs> November, if this is right. November deluge, um, which will, of course, be very good news. <laughs> so we can have some awesome forecast. Right, week 4 is the 20th, 27th of November. Here we go. And uh, we see low pressure again away to our northwest, bringing in the wind from off the Atlantic a little bit like that. The 500 millibar heights, not much of a signal there actually, but I suspect it's still probably quite a settled. Reason being, we've got high pressure over here and we've got more high pressure over there. We're going to have some low pressure somewhere, so I suspect this area in reality will end up filling up with more <laughs> low pressure, probably. Uh, the temperature only may be increasing a little bit. Perhaps just going a little bit closer towards being milder than average, but still doesn't really show all that much of a signal. And uh, precipitation-wise, I mean, we're four weeks out now, so the signal is weakening, obviously, but it does hint, I think, at still being a little bit on the wetter side there through northwestern parts of Europe. Right, week five, we were 27th of November to the 4th of December. This is it. And uh, a weaker signal now. So we have got some high pressure in the North Atlantic over here towards the eastern coast of America. Uh, and there's low pressure across some southern and southeastern parts of Europe. Otherwise, I'm going to put it in question mark because that is quite a weak signal. Let's see if the 500 millibar heights offers any... Um, clarification not really so we've got high pressure to our east and northeast or above average heights to our east and northeast and in the atlantic as well i would suspect this is probably still going to be low pressure dominated you know between those two ridges i suspect we will perhaps have a bit of a dip of jet stream and um we'll still be dominated by low pressure when we get to this Point. The temperature anomaly is no better than average, a little bit below average to our west and southwest, mild and average up to the north and to the northeast. And precipitation wise, again, signal is uh, is very weak there. And then lastly, we've got week six, which is before to the 11th of December. Let's have a look. And again, very, very weak signals here. So it all gets very sketchy once we come to the end of November and into December. So again, let's just put in uh, a question mark there. I won't sing Marvin because I'll start myself <laughs> coughing. Um, 500 millibar heights look like that. So we've got high pressure over towards the Canadian side of Greenland. And uh, also some high pressure into Western Russia as well. I still think low pressure could be dominating here, to be honest. Between those two highs, I think we're probably going to have low pressure in reality in control there. But it is a very, very weak signal. Uh, temperature anomaly is about average to perhaps it being slightly below. And uh, lastly, precipitation-wise, um, though it's such a weak signal, you can't really glean anything useful. But perhaps, perhaps just since it being still slightly on the wetter side in the North Atlantic and into western parts of Europe. So certainly the next three weeks or so look like they're going to be dominated by low pressure. So it could be a very wet first half to November up to the middle and into the second half of the month. Later in November and as we push on into the first half of December, it all starts getting very, very sketchy. But my interpretation really is still that we probably, in reality, keep it unsettled, keep low pressure coming, even into December. Goodness gracious me, we're going <laughs> to need a we're going to need a bigger arc at this at this rate. We're going to need a bigger bow, as uh, someone once said. Anyway, just a snapshot of what model is showing. So you can look back at Jeremy Fry and see whether the JMA and the CFS models are agreeing with this, certainly for the next four weeks anyway. So we released that earlier today. So check out JMA Friday. And uh, yeah, just a snapshot of what model is showing can look completely different. We're going to look at this again on Tuesday. That will be for the uh, wider extended European outlook. And of course, we will be uh, doing the EC42 down for the UK and for Ireland next Saturday, actually. Be back Saturday uh, next week. We've got weekend forecast and your 10 to 14 day coming up for you uh, later on. So please keep checking back to the channel for more. No, we're not. What I'm talking about it's Friday. So we've got the. <laughs> 
That was a slip, wasn't it? That was a slip. Um, no, that would be the case if it was Saturday, but it's Friday when you're watching this. So we've not got the weekend forecast on the 14th day. That's already been released, hasn't it? 10th to 14 day. Weekend's tomorrow. So, no, what was actually going to be happening is that we live stream. <laughs> 10 p.m. You you know you know what's happening. So I'm going to end it there and go and <laughs> collapse because I've been a conveyor belt today. Uh, and I'll, if I was still alive, I'll see you a little bit later on at 10 p.m. for the live stream. But for this one, that's all. For now. <laughs>